glue with the white to make it a little lighter. And sometimes the, the canvas absorb a lot, so it's better to have more paint uh, mix on the palette to have more relaxed time to do painting. So this is about the blue color. Even on the rock or heel that we see, uh, it's a little darker. So for that, I'm going to mix the blue with black a little bit. Cobalt blue with the black give me nice and warm color. So for the first color, I mix <clears throat> blue with white. For the second one, I mix blue with black. Be careful, not much black because black is so dark and so strong can make the color change the value so fast. Just little by little, better to premix. And this is good for the heel. For the greeny of landscape, we can just move on with the pure uh, hooker green. So please premix your paint and then we move on, apply on the canvas. More space for the sky, less space for the bottom part. And just the mountain is a, li a little bit curvy on top, comes down, go up. It's like convex and concave, then convex like this. You can add a tone on it or leave it just with the white of canvas. Both are okay. But if I want to separate from the grass, I know the grass come on top, but just the line is okay to imagine. This is good for the green part and this is good for the um, mountain part. And then the rest is the sky. So after we separate this part from each other and then clean the brush very well with water, Make it dry by napkin or rag and start apply flatly with this sky color. Just go on back and make your sky be dark and colorful. I'm not paying attention now with the details. You can do all at the same time. Start drawing the yellow circle and do everything at the same time. But I find when you work as a layers is more strong. Your painting is more strong because it's not easy to clean this white off canvas, get, get rid of it. But when you add one tone, one layer on it, it's too easy to cover it first. And then it's much more easier to add the details on top later. Even if you go with the flat and washy brush stroke, that's fine for the first layer because we want to cover all this white of canvas first and then move on for the rest of the painting.
some white color mixed with yellow. I want to have lighter yellow. Take some red, mix with the yellow, give you orange. Very less red, more yellow. You see my orange is too dark. I need to take more yellow to mix and make it lighter. So because of that, at the beginning, less red add and more yellow. We need these two color. We need yellow, we need white, and we need this blue, which is light. I clean my brush very well. I don't want to have any blue or green on, the, on it. So I take this white and yellow first. I try very, you see, I use heavy paint. I try to have heavy paint on my canvas. Just make a circular shape on top, like that. It has a lots of color beside it, so it's okay. Circle shape, then move on with this orangey tone around. Make the orange. If it's easier, you can have napkin in your hand and anytime you want to move on with the new paint, just clean it by napkin like that. Take the orange by clean brush and apply. Heavy paint, apply, you see just the texture make. Then clean it. Move on with the white color and yellow. I want to have a narrow line beside it to shape it and go with the tip of brush to make the narrow line close to this circle that we have. And I would like to have some bluey in between to be visible so I don't draw one big line, just a broken line, helpful to have uh, the light blue of the sky be visible under it. Even you can move on with the white color, make some white around the edge. Like this. And even I would like to, we can finish with this light color and then move on with the blue and this dark blue later. Yeah, we can go with this. So I keep it like that here. Start this uh, with the yellow smaller circle on top here too. Just place it. And you see when I mix uh, yellow with white, uh, my paint is now opaque. It can sit on top. If you go right away with the pure yellow, like this, it's not uh, give you the result like that. You see here, it's transparent and it's moved to the background. You can see all the bluey under it. It's okay. It doesn't bad, but I, I just want to have with this darker, uh, lighter tone, heavy paint. Clean with napkin. Take the orange, just around it. Clean it again. This one should be smaller than that. So we are not adding a lot uh, line around it. Just a little bit some line and then we leave it get dry for this movement. I just would like to make the shape of look like a wave as a cloud here. And start with this yellowy color, yellow with white mix. Start with this part, it's easier to shape the curvy first here. A little come down, make it like that. Just with a small brush stroke, Tiny, like a curvy line, like a big curve we want to shape. And go here, around this. 
with a simple broken line. Then you can make it more heavy, more add more and more later. Just randomly beside that. Even you can switch to the white color, light blue color in between, make it feel more heavy. But it's easier to do first of all, the whole shape to have an idea of wave, this wave shape, where should be placed and then we can add and make it more heavy line around it more and more. I'm just work with this white yellow and With the white, with the yellow and white mixed together, like this way, this way, squirrel, like that, like make it busy, like this, and another circle here, in between this two. Just one simple circle, some line beside the edge, around the. Circle. It doesn't need to be perfect, this line. Anywhere you can add, even like this. Just you can do something that see the bluey under it. I'm going to use the line on this part, just on top of the mountain, like a broken line. Go like that. It's look like sewing, <laughs> like like that. Just go like this, small line to pass here. This line can be a little longer or shorter, longer, shorter. Anyway, more enjoyable for you. And then with the pure white color, you can come on top. I don't want to have all these parallel with each other. So I can move inside, make it fill with some more line. So we need to add more line around this, but so far I'm going to add just with the pure white and mixture of white and yellow to have this movement. And then we will more uh, uh, color add in between. So please work on this part as well. 
but make sure to have the empty space on here, here, and a little bit between this because we want to bring bluey and orangey on top. I, I want to add more details in between of my painting. So I need to premix a little bit more white with the blue again to have, this time I would like to have lighter blue than the background I, I, I already have. So because of that, I add more white color in my blue to have lighter than this color. This is the first color. And then for the second one, again, I want this color that I mix blue with black. So back to the blue, mix with the black, cobalt blue, I mean. When, and we already have light blue here, so different blue. If you don't have this one, that's fine. Just these two is enough. Now I want to add more blue in between. So take the blue. Now we have empty space around. Just keep it, move with the lighter tone. Even you can bring some light tone in between the white and yellow. Just make it more busy. Heavy texture and busy. Around the moon here, around.
need to wear, take a lot of paint to cover it. I'm going to start here. Just this part, I think it's dry. A little bit, not completely circle, a tiny, uh, try to make the edge a little more look like the square, but round shape. I say like that, not, not circle completely and not a uh, square. So just heavy paint, draw the shape of head like this. And two tiny triangle on the ear. Both sides of head. like this and then I move on for the body just try to draw one line here a little bit in angle and gentle seeker like that heavy paint the other side it shows that our cat are stepping on on the grass so one small line here the other move a little bit further like this angle and then come down This part is okay to be straight because it, it will cover by uh, lots of grass. And then fill inside by black color. So we can fill inside by just the black. Even if you go with heavy paint and make a texture, it's more nice because uh, you can make some uh, like a fairy hair on it and then just one line as a seeker line for the tail from here just turn it like that and connect it to the body this is a simple shape of our cat from uh, the back yeah, we are not able to see her face it it look at uh, our sky so this is about that. But if you have flat like this, take your brush on the other side, like a horizontal line. Start with the light color, just like that. I, I go with a small line to make this grass, like this way, on top of the green color that I already have. You can make really heavy texture and leave it with heavy texture. So with this three green, pure, darker tone and the lighter tone, I just want to cover the background with that. You see, I'm going with the dark green or light green in between. You can bring it a little bit toward this uh, mountain and even come on top of the cats. It shows that they sit inside on, on top of the grass and the grass is covered them with light, dark and mid-tone green. Randomly take some from this, from that, and then cover the grass.
many brushes like this one. Take any paint, I start with the orange and just touch the canvas to make a little bit shape of flowers. It's not exact flowers, it's just like a circle on top and cover like that. Move on with pink. If the green is still wet, we can go with heavy paint of pink and let it be heavy set on top. Because just with heavy paint, you can go on top of the wet surface. The rest is mixed together and get dirty. So I have napkin, move on with yellow in between. Put some yellow, take, clean it by napkin and then randomly add some yellow everywhere I want. Always clean by napkin because my green is so uh, heavy and it's still wet. It's like playing with colors and that's so enjoyable because you easily can do some creativity. So these are about the yellow. Now move on with the orange. And randomly add some orange on top. Then pink. If you work with heavy paint like me, it takes really time to get dry. So be careful not touch it for a couple hours. Even in acrylic, take time. Just like a bright line. Even you can go with a broken line as well. Doesn't need to be um, perfect. And on this side as well. I just go with one side. And even on a tail. To separate tail from. I'm not coming to the grass, just enough like that. Not all this way that we have. Just the part that is visible. And I would like to show the whiskers, even just one or two line, narrow line like that. Even when we are not seeing her face, their face, the viscous is visible. Two of the each side of their face we can add. And yeah, we can call our painting is down. Just just if you like, you can add some circle in the sky with the white like this, like a dot. Not everywhere, just one or two here, one or two here. To make the sky a little more busy and interesting. Like this, and that's enough. 